Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be finishing up the second part to a two-part series on fermenting apple jalapeno hot sauce. If you did not see the first part, that video will be listed right here. But okay, so I think what we're going to do now is we are going to go ahead and blend up our fermented apple jalapeno hot sauce. And like I said, if you would like to see the video step by step, then you can watch the first part of apple jalapeno hot sauce. Goodness, this thing is really hard to get open. There we go. Stuck. Oh, it smells good. I can smell it already. Okay. Pull that lid off. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way so that you can see inside the jar. Beyond that, there we go. Looks really good. Everything is perfectly fermented and ready to go. And this only took five days. Sometimes it will take six days. It just depends probably on temperature in your house. We're going to go ahead and pull the fermenting weight off. And get that out of there. There we go. And you see that right there? That's just like a little bit of calm yeast. That is perfectly fine. That's exactly what it should be doing. And I am going to put this weight over here in the sink. And we are just going to dump this in. Everything looks so good. So good. Smells delicious. So we're just going to dump everything in, juice and all. That's the salt brine. That's what made it ferment. Get everything in there. Let me get a spoon so we can get everything out. There we go. Just dump everything in there. Perfect, perfect. This is the best apple jalapeno hot sauce you will ever eat, in my opinion, anyway. Let me get all this out of the way. Over here in the sink. Now we'll just put the lid on it and we are going to blend it until everything is broke up. I say, I check it in about 30 seconds, but I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute. I actually really need to time it and see exactly how long because I'm not really sure. I just kind of go by the look of it. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it now. Turn the power button on. And make sure that lid is closed. And we're going to go ahead and go for it. Okay, let's go ahead and check it and see. I like to lift the lid up because a lot of the juice and everything gets trapped right, right up under the lid. So once I release, it will start to fall in there. Okay, just looking over everything. Sure, I have the consistency that I want. I think I'm going to just do it just a little bit longer. So far, it's been about a minute. So I'm going to just go a little bit longer, and I think I'm just going to go back on to blend. I pushed crush for just a little bit, but then I went back. So I'm going to go back to blend and go from there. Okay, I think that's probably going to be good enough. I do like it to have a little bit of texture, so get all that out of there. Juices kind of come up in there and get my spoon here and see if we can't get some of that hot sauce out of there. Okay, we got that spoon. Get some of that out of the lid. Don't want to waste any of it. That was too good. Usually it's a little more green, but it sure smells good. And basically from here, we're just going to take it, take it off of this. There we go. 
my blender won't do anything unless the lid's on anyway. So I'm going to push this back out of the way. There we go. That's perfect. Get this little guy out. Okay. I have already, I had a bottle that was already labeled. I just use old wine bottles because it fits everything in there perfectly. So basically we just pour it in. Just funnel it in. Get that work down some. Just kind of slide our spoon in there. There we go. That is perfect. There we go. This is my favorite hot sauce. And I really enjoy fermenting. I make quite a bit of things fermented. I make sauerkraut um we do drinks of course like kombucha there's quite a bit that you can do so if you ever get into it i would definitely recommend trying a hot sauce or something like that first a lot of people don't really take the sauerkrauts i love them i actually love all types of fermented foods so this is perfect. I eat it immediately. Um, you put it in your refrigerator. I keep, I store it in the refrigerator. Uh, as far as I know, you can store it in your fridge for six months. So, um, but like I said, on the first part of this series, it never lasts six months in my refrigerator. This stuff is too good. And if you want to see the step-by-step -step of putting this all together, you can definitely go back to the first part. I will have that linked up top and below. All right, so that's it. And you just put the lid on it. Get this out of the way. And then it, it goes in the fridge. We have our fermented jalapeno hot sauce blended up and ready to go in the fridge. I want to thank everyone for joining me on my channel. If you like the content and would like to see even more, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on the next.